guys, welcome to my channel. Today is day nine of 12 Days of Dipmas. And so it's my turn to show you how to create a Christmas holiday mani. And so I decided to go with kind of a, a chic, simple mani. I wanted something that would run from like Christmas to New Year's pretty smooth without having like the bright reds and greens um, for New Year's. So I feel like this is a good, happy medium. But this design is super easy and it's a lot of fun and I think it's pretty cute too. So I'm excited to show you guys how I create it. So stay tuned. All right guys, let's get started. So here is the design that we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be using all Revel products. Here's Posh and the other color I'm gonna be using is Wonderland. And these are both super, super gorgeous colors. But here's the design. It's simple and it's easy and I just love how classy it is. So what I did is I prepped my nails beforehand. Um, I just filed them and I also put a layer of clear dip just to protect my nails because they're on the longer side so it just gives it that extra layer of protection. So I'm going to take my Pro Base and I'm going to um, just wiggle it near my cuticle line a little bit. Um, it just helps have a cleaner cuticle line when I do that. And then I'm just going to apply it over the entire nail. And then after I'm done dipping, I'm just going to give my finger a little tap tap just to remove some excess powder. We're going to move on to the ring finger and we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to skip over the middle finger because the middle finger we're going to put Wonderland, um, but we're going to continue with Posh on the rest of the fingers. So here's Wonderland. Wonderland is like the ultimate winter color. If you don't have it in your collection, you have to have it. I just love the shimmer that it gives. It definitely reminds me of like sparkly snow. Okay, so we're just gonna dust off our fingers and we're gonna move on to the second layer of dip. It's the same thing as the first layer, except this time I just like to get a little bit closer to my cuticles. Okay, so after our second layer of dip, we're just gonna dust it off and we are gonna start on our activator. We're just gonna take activator and put a liberal amount over all of our nails. The activator just helps set the powder and make it hard. We're gonna let that dry for about two minutes. Now, um, what we're gonna start doing is filing our nails. So we're just gonna go around the edge of our nail to make it smooth. And then I like to take the file near the cuticle area and I just like to smoothen that out so it has a, um, a nice little slope, not too crazy. And then after we are done shaping our nail, we are going to buff it. And buffing it just helps it get a little smooth, removes any bumps or ridges just helps have a clean finish on the nail. And we're gonna dust our nails again and clean up our little area and we're gonna start on the design. So I used a rose gold glitter polish, a white polish, and a smudge free top coat. The tools that I used were a paintbrush, just a long thin tipped one, an extra piece of paper, and a, a cuticle pusher I used as my dotting tool. You could totally use a toothpick or a pencil tip and it will do just the same. So what I like to do is create a little puddle with my nail polish and we're gonna start with the white nail polish. This just helps me access the paint easier. Okay, so I know my finger is kind of out of the frame. Totally my bad mistake <laughs> but what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be creating dots on a diagonal on my nail and this is just gonna help me create a straight line um, it's kind of like connect the dots it just is a good guide my little secret to straight lines when you're free handing so I'm gonna keep it a medium thickness it's not gonna be a thin line it's not gonna be a super thick line but I liked it on the medium side And I created a total of four lines on my ring finger. 
And here you can just see how the dots helped create a straight line. And make sure you take your time, don't be in a rush to do it. Okay, so we're gonna grab the cuticle pusher with the pointed tip and we are going to create our dots. So I'm gonna create three dots down the middle of my nail. And then on either side of my nail, I'm gonna put two dots, kind of alternating. If you have OCD, this is like the perfect solution for creating dots on your nails. <laughs> So we're gonna take the glitter and we're gonna make another little puddle. Just makes it easier. Okay, and we're gonna just take the glitter and go along the edge of our white stripes. The glitter definitely accents the stripes and it just brings the whole design together. Plus, I think the glitter makes it extra classy. I think this design kind of reminds me of like a really good looking candy cane. Um, the glitter isn't as thick as the white stripes. So just keep your glitter stripes on the thinner side. And the, the white lines are a good guide for your glitter stripes. Okay, so we're just gonna let that dry. It took about like two minutes for it to dry. Um, and then after it's done drying, I'm just gonna take the smudge proof top coat. This is from Maniology and this stuff works so good. You're just going to put a nice, um, nice layer right over your design and it just seals the design and it helps it not smudge, which is wonderful. <laughs> and this top coat takes about two minutes for it to dry. Now I'm going to be taking out my UV light and my gel top coat and I'm just going to apply a layer over my nails. Um, I'm going to do this away from you guys just because I'm near the sun and I don't want my gel to be ruined. But yep, yeah, this is my mani. So I'm basically done. I'm just going to finish off with cuticle oil. Um, cuticle oil is probably my favorite step when I'm creating a mani. It just feels so good and it's just so important to use cuticle oil for your nails. But I'm just massaging into my fingers. And that's it. Guys, this design was so easy and fun to create and I just can't wait to see your guys' manis. Make sure you guys stay tuned tomorrow because it's day 10 of the 12 days of Dipmas and Alina Matthews is gonna be sharing the next holiday mani. So if you guys like this video, be sure to like it and hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys.